So the baby, when the baby is born, you know, they're looking at uh, a pretty decent sized calf. We're looking at something around the size of about 120 kilograms, which is about 260 pounds roughly. Uh, that is a big baby. And the mother is always with that baby helping it to its feet using the mother's foot and trunk if it falls over and just putting they just they just use that trunk like a a helping hand with their babies it's beautiful if it's really beating heat i've also seen the mothers push the real youngsters underneath them to get them out of the sun but this this little baby might uh Come and investigate us a little bit more. We'll just see. I've got a question from Natasha in Ontario. Uh, thank, fantastic to have you with us. Um, you want to know whether what is the heaviest tree that an elephant uh, can push over? Well, I don't think I could answer that accurately, uh, Natasha, in the sense of how heavy the tree is, but I've seen them push over some incredibly big trees that you just don't think are possible, but it's the big bulls that. Um, do knock over those trees and they use their head and their trunk and they're sort of just where their trunk uh, leaves their head in the in, in the length of it and they push 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 and uh, they'll use their body weight they'll lean against it uh, but we might be able to find one either this morning I'm not sure if we'll get it in this morning Natasha but if you're watching and you do have the opportunity to uh, stay with us for the afternoon drive I'll try and see if we can find a big tree that they have pushed over to show you because it's easier to show you uh, a visual of that immense strength you are looking at a big male it's about um, again my my conversions from from kilos to uh, to pounds aren't fantastic so I'm going to have a go for you but look it's about 6,000 kilograms is a really super big ball but they've even gotten bigger and that's going to be looking up around well plus 13,000 pounds in a big ball so it is an immense creature we've got a little bit of a tussle going on over here Brian uh, two individuals just down here man they just I don't know whether they're having a bit of a disagreement about food they're about the same age but they had a little uh, look at that strength there in that female Wow, so she's just ripped up that acacia and just uh, she just wants to get the roots at the moment she's interested in. And using those two fingers on like the, so the two fingers on the prehensile trunk, little finger like tips on that uh, end of that trunk, and she delicately places those in her mouth. And she's got a really young calf just coming up behind. He might give us a little show of himself just now. He's just sees his feet under there. Here he comes. He's very beautiful. And this is the one I was looking for before. We found this little calf this morning. And uh, he came up and had a little bit of an investigation. He's still even getting to know what his trunk's used for. When they're born, it's just really wonderful to watch. Just a little vocalisation there. Got a little comment from Amy. Welcome aboard, Amy. Great to have you with us. You saying you love how little elephants, baby elephants, flop their trunks around. I do as well. It's very funny. They don't really know what it's for. <laughs> Look at this little one here. I think there's even a younger one somewhere, so I don't think that's the one I was thinking about. There's a little bit of wrestling going on here. And that could be a brother or a relative. 
fantastic to see, isn't it? <laughs> if it does get out of hand, so that could... Interesting, isn't it? Interesting, so that could be actually the baby's brother or sister. I think it could be a sister and then, uh, you know, don't mess with my my little my little off my little uh, sibling who knows but these two were having a little bit of a uh, a tussle before anyway just lovely interaction <laughs>